Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Good day to all of us. Ako po si Deborah Garcia and welcome to this series where we will practice the things that we learned from the past lessons that we had. Today we are going to practice the things that we learned from this lesson from the Conversational Filipino series. I hope you still remember all of them. If not, go ahead and re-watch the video and of course, take down some notes. So, handa na ba kayo? Mag-practice na tayo! For our first activity, I created a Facebook post saying that I am looking for a house to rent. So, I posted, Naghahanap po ako ng bahay na mauupahan. Gusto ko po yung may dalawang kwarto at malapit sa ospital. Pwede na po kahit sa basement lang. Wala po akong sasakyan, kaya dapat malapit din sa estasyon ng tren. Hanggang 1,500 kada buwan po ang budget ko. Maraming salamat po. Alright, let's see if you can understand my post. So, I set this as a private post, but I shared it to one of my friends so that uh, we could see if how... Facebook is translating my post to English. But of course, I want to see your own translation for this one. So I'll give you one minute to figure out what this post, what are the specific things that I wanted for a house in this post. So I'll give you one minute to do this. Your timer starts now. All right, your time is up. Let us compare your translation to the Facebook's translation to my post. You know, sometimes Facebook translates Filipino words um, incorrectly. Sometimes it's funny how they translate Filipino words. Like one time I posted um, when I was still young and poor and then the word was yagit. And then the translation was once upon a time when I was still annoying, you know? So, but this one, it says, I'm looking for a house for rent. I want the one with two bedrooms and near the hospital. It's okay even if, even just in the basement. I don't have a car, so it should be near the train station. My budget is up to 1,500 per month. Thank you very much. I think this translation is perfect. So how about your translation? Is it the same or slightly different? But as long as you got all the information that's in here, then your translation would be fine. So let us go to the next activity. All right, for our second activity, let us pretend that you found these two places that you could rent. So depending on your choice, the first one, it says house for rent. Oh, by the way, in the activity two, the instruction is, Alin sa dalawang bahay ang uupahan mo? Mm, I hope you know what does this question mean. Alin sa dalawang bahay ang uupahan mo? All right, the first one, it says house for rent. And then it says dalawang kwarto. Malapit sa estasyon ng bus, 10-minute drive papuntang ospital at shopping center, libre ang school bus para sa mga estudyante, may sariling internet, at 1,500 kada buwan ang upa. Alright, let's look at the second one. The second one, it says basement for rent. Isang kwarto, malapit sa eskwelahan, Hospital, shopping center, at estasyon ng tren. Shared ang kusina at CR sa main floor. Shared ang internet, 
tubig at kuryente. 1,200 kada buwan ang upa. Alright, now let's assume or let's pretend that these are the only two places that are available for rent. So, which one are you going to choose? So, alin sa dalawang bahay ang uupahan mo? So, which of these two are you going to rent? Alright, I'll give you one minute to decide. Go ahead and check each detail that matters to you, alright? I'll give you one minute. Your timer starts now. Okay, I hope you've already decided which house or which place are you going to pick for rent. So let's check the details for each house. I know both of these houses do not meet all the requirements you put in your post. All right, it's not actually your post, it's my post. All right, so the first one, the house for rent, it has two bedrooms. It's near the bus station. It's a 10-minute drive to the hospital and shopping center um it has school bus so school bus is free for the students it has its own internet connection and it's 1500 every month all right the second one it's for the basement it only has one bedroom but it's near the school hospital shopping center and train station however your kusina, your kitchen, and your CR. You remember what CR is? Your washroom. It are in the main floor and it is shared, shared with other people, maybe other people living upstairs. So also the internet. Too big is water and corriente is electricity. So shared, the internet, water, and electricity are shared, of course, with other people. And then, but it's very cheap, it's 1200 every month. So, depending on what's more important to you, um, your decision will be needed for this one. I'm hoping that you will put your answer in the comment section below. So, just tell me the reason. Answer this question. Bakit iyan ang napili mo? Why did you choose that? Maybe you can answer it in one to two sentences. So, just tell me the reason. What are your preferences? Or why did you pick this place? Why is this more convenient for you? All right? So, if you are enjoying our practice so far, if you think that my videos help you a lot in learning the Tagalog language, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoy learning the Tagalog language. See you again in the next practice. Bye!